Welcome, this is Jen the Liberty Lion, and today I'm going to talk about a definition state. I believe this is in the American um, Encyclopedic Dictionary for the English Language. This is one of my favorite dictionaries um, because it goes into the origin of the word. Um, it doesn't give a date here, but it does use some things like uh, quotes by Shakespeare, Henry VI, um, Milton, so on and so forth. So we're looking at the word state, and this is just um, a dictionary from a non-law, non-legal dictionary. Okay, so it's um, from the old French word estat, from French etat, estate, case, nature, from Latin statum, Accusative of status, which is a condition, from statum. A stow to stand, state and estate are doublets. So I've gone through the Chambers Encyclopedic Dictionary in a previous video where it says that state is related to the words estate, case, nature, status, standing, condition, so on and so forth, and that's because the word has um, the same meaning as state, but in different languages. <clears throat> as a substantive, one, condition as determined by circumstances of any kind. So circumstances is also like your situation. So they call that a situ or um, lex situs, which is law of the land. Lex is law, situs is your situation. So it's the situation is whatever is of the land. So your lex situs is the law of the land, and that's your state or your circumstance or your situation of any kind. The condition or circumstances of any being or thing at any given time, a position, so it's not just a geographical location, but the situation that you're in. Are you a taxpayer? Are you a driver? Are you a laborer with a license? Are you a fisherman? Are you a hunter with a hunting license? Okay, all those things. Are you a doctor, a dentist, where you have to have these licenses? So your situation. <clears throat> Two, rank, condition, standing, or quality. In the military, you're in a military state. Had he matched according to his state, Shakespeare and Henry the um, Sixth, part three, two, and two. Three, a seat or chair of dignity, a throne. So the seat of government is Washington, D.C. That's the seat of the military government, the seat of the United States. The United States is the military government or chair or dignity. I've gone over seat, sit, sieve, sip, zip, and all these things in another video. It's a play on words. This chair shall be my um, estate, this dagger my scepter, Shakespeare and Henry the uh, Fourth. Four, a canopy, a covering of state. So a canopy here is like what I call an arc. Arcs are something that have been around for a long time. They have arcs of control, like arches. So they have an um, arc of the covenant. It's a covenant, and it's the arc over the covenant. A covenant within certain... Um, Circum jurisdictions or cir circum um, certain under certain rules and laws and ideas. It's an idea, and it's sort of a canopy that covers these ideas. And what they do is they try to bring people in, and then they have someone who administers the canopy or the state. So it's a covering, like the arch of a church, or the steeple of a church, or um, Noah's ark that he was in the water in. It kept the water out. It kept the animals in. It's a, it's a, it's a canopy or a covering or a protection. 
five royal or gorgeous pomp splendor appearance and greatness so like a high state high on a throne of royal etate i guess that's ite or state milton six dignity of a deportment with what great state he heard their embassy a person of high rank a state or a possession now we just went over possessio and state and legal state. Strong was their plot, their states far off, and they of wary wit. Nine, any body of men constituting a community of a particular character in virtue of certain political privileges who partake either directly or by representation in the government of their country and a state as the lords spiritual and temporal and the commons are the states or estates of the realm in Great Britain. <clears throat> so this definition would be like the men who wrote the constitution and those men were called we the people and they did it within the United States or for the United States for the United States of America. So the Constitution was written by a body of men and they constituted a community and that community um, was constituted, constituted by those men who called themselves we the people of the United States or we the military people. 10. The legislative body in the island of Jersey, it consists of 55 persons including the bailiff of the island who is ex officio president, so on and so forth. The state or states of Jersey on Monday passed a measure to enable landlords to evict refractory tenants. The Reynolds newspaper in 1887. States general, the bodies that constitute the legislature of a country in contradistinction to the assemblies of provinces, specifically the name given to the legislative assemblies of France before the revolution of 1789 and to those of the Netherlands, and also the United States, and each of the states that it created, as well as the states that created it. 11. A whole people united into a body politic, a civil and self-governing community. That is the United States of America, often with the, the United States of America, or the United States. So the United States of America includes the United States, but the United States works for the United States of America. Our state think not so. 12. The power wielded by the government of a country, the civil power, often as contrasted with ecclesiastical. So not a religious, we have separation of church and state. So this is a civil power, a power by the people, not by the church. The civil power was supposed to be the independent states, but the federal government, being the military power, overtook the states during Lincoln's time. 13. One of the commonwealths or bodies politic which together go to compose a federal republic and which stand in certain specified relations with the central or national government and as regards internal affairs are more or less independent as the state of Pennsylvania. The erection of the constant constituent members of the American Union into their present statute and reciprocal relations may be said properly to have begun with the formal ratification of the first constitution of the United States, the order of which the states is now given below. Prior to this action on their part, the colonies had occupied simply the position of an, um, congeries of provinces banded together for mutual defense, mutual defense, which they then rose and turned into United States, and they spelled defense wrong. They spelled defense according to the Latin. The founders spelled defense according to the old French. And having no other organic union than a common legislative body composed of delegates sent from each colony, which delegates might be withheld and all connection with the general body dissolved by the 
independent action of one of the commonwealths composing it. So here it's saying the independent states, here they say it's the commonwealth, rose to create a union, okay, and that union was originally the Articles of Confederation called, and the union was the United States of America, and within it a military power called a federal, um, a federal government, and it was called the United States. Why they did it that way, I, I just don't know. The first to enter the sisterhood of states by ratifying the Constitution was Delaware, which on December 17, 1787, unanimous, unanimously voted to voted its adoption, then followed Pennsylvania, December 12, 1787, vote 46 to 23, New Jersey, December 18, 1787, so on and so forth. Okay, so state defined by um, the Encyclopedic American Dictionary from, I think it was the late 1800s or early 1900s, and you can find it online, and I will probably post the um, page, the, the, the exact title to the dictionary so that you can look it up if you, if you choose to. So with that, like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more on state.